the spirit of 69. For the kids growing into the vast housing estates built after Dad's armies gave Germany a bloody nose, it would have been a reminder that in war, even when you are right, it doesn't always leave much left. After fighting on the beaches, the mods were handing down a round all badged amphetamine weekend to come down. Swinging London had swung by. It was time to remove the fog lights, the mirrors, and the fuss. Kids were already asking for short hair in the mirror, on the chair. While the country aspired, ordinary working men reinvented what the ordinary working man should look like. Starting with boots like dads. Jamaicans had their own music, their own words, food, and shiny mohair. They were bright, sharp, and tough. Rude boy children of West Indian immigrants were realising it wasn't all tea breaks for tea cakes. Kicking against it in short trousers. This looked like fun for the boiled eggs, the lemons, the prickles and the peanuts. They would soon get a name that stuck, the skinhead. A strong father and son tradition in football was fading after factories dropped the Saturday morning shift. But then we beat Germany again for the World Cup. Jamaican parties were starting to fill with white crop-headed armies seeking music, drink and identity. And for a little while there was a common unruliness shared amongst fast, fun, scar. They are the last genuinely misunderstood post-war subculture, but the first to actually influence the sound of British black music. They are still influencing kids today with what to listen to and wear. The boots, the braces, scooters, race, music and football. The spirit of 69.